Hello friends, welcome to our channel where we are presenting lessons. I think this is the, the last lesson and um, title, this is lesson number 15. Alright, in this lesson we want to look at how we can make use of the quotient rule. Okay, so we are saying if you have got a function, uh, y is got u over v, how are you going to, to differentiate it? You say v um, u prime minus u of v prime, alright? So this is always u, then that is v. So you start with v, u prime, but u prime means you are going to differentiate v, I mean u, right? Whatever function will be here. Then you give the u differentiate v. So you start with v, u prime, then u prime, I mean v, u prime, minus u, v prime. By prime, we mean derivatives, right? Alright? So we're saying, for this one, we are going to say u is equal to what? x to the power 2. Alright? Uh, so that u prime is equal to 2x. Alright? Then you say my v is equal to this one. Okay, x plus 2. x plus 2. So that v prime is equal to what? 1. Okay, now we are saying for us to find dy dx, okay, because now we are dealing with x and y there. You start with v. What is my v? My v is x plus 2. Okay, you multiply this with u prime. What is our u prime? Is 2x, right? So I'll say 2x minus. So this is v. Here you are going to start with u. Alright, so what is your u? It is your x squared. So you say x squared. Open the bracket. So if you are dealing with u here, then you deal with v prime. And your v prime is what? 1. Right? But everything here should be divided by v squared. Alright? What is our v? Our v is x plus what? 2. To the power 2. Okay? So dy dx is going to be. This one you can easily uh, multiply, it's fine. So, 2x by x, 2x squared, plus 4x, okay? 4x minus x squared, because here I'm multiplying. Everything here is divided by what? x plus 2 to the power 2. So we are saying dy dx is equal to 2x squared minus x squared, we have who? x squared plus what? Plus uh, 4x, right? Here, we divide by xc plus what? Plus 2, okay? Divide by, so here you have got power 2, alright? So if you want, you can expand this, okay? Or just end there, you can expand that. Because if we have asked you to find the gradient at a point, let's say 1, you are going to put 1 here, then 1 plus 2 will be 3, then 3 squared will get 9, okay? Alright? But if you want, you can do that, there is no, there's no problem here, you can expand this and get the answer, but even this one is okay. Alright? Okay, so we can go to the second one. Okay, so for the second one, this is the, the same formula that we are going to apply. So we we'll say let or our u is equal to x to the power 3 minus 3xc squared. Alright? Then this implies that u prime by u prime means we are differentiating u with respect to x. What are we going to have? We are going to have 3xc squared. Okay? Minus 6 c x okay minus 6 c x then we go to our v v is the denominator which is in x c minus 2 all right so that v prime okay is equal to 1 by our formula we have dy dx that is equal to what is our v x minus 2 x minus 2. Okay. Then what is u prime? U prime is 
3 x squared minus 6x. Alright? Minus, what is my v? My v is x minus 2. x minus 2. Uh, and v prime is what? 1. Okay. That is my v prime. Everything here should be divided by v squared. And our v is x minus 2. So, x minus 2 squared. Alright, so dy dx is equal to, okay, so even this function can still be worked out. Or even if you want to leave this part and just maybe simplify that part, it's still very okay. But let's try to, to work it out. So this by that we have 3x to the power 3, alright, minus this x by uh, 6x, you have that is 6x squared. Okay? Minus. So now I'm done with this. I'll go to this guy. Negative 2 by 3x squared, you see? Negative 6x squared. Then negative 2 by negative 6x, you have plus 2x. Alright? Now, take notes. This multiplication sign is for everything there. But when you multiply x minus 2 by 1, you get x minus 2. Then you distribute the negative. So you have minus x plus what? 2. Okay? Here, everything you divide by x minus 2 squared. Okay? Then we can come here and say uh, dy dx. What do we get? We can go for like terms. So we have 3x to the power 3, which is a lot. Okay, if you look at uh, 6x squared and these, they can be uh, worked out. So negative 6x squared minus uh, 6x squared, you get minus 12x squared, all right? Then 12x minus x, you get positive 11x plus what? Two. Then we divide everything here uh, by uh, x minus 2 to the power 2. Okay. And this becomes our answer. That becomes our answer. Uh, okay. Take note. I think we're a bit uh, fast here. When you look at this one, this is x minus 2, and x minus 2 here is our v. But here we must put u, then v prime. So here we need to make sure that we put our u, and our u is this. So take note. So we have to change here. So it would mean that even this, we are going to change. Okay. So the first one is v. This is our v. Then u prime. What is our u prime? It's this. Minus u. So u is that. Okay? So u is the x to the power x to the power 3 minus 3x squared. Of course, this should be in brackets. Alright? Then you multiply by v prime. What is our v prime? Our v prime is 1. Okay, I think that is how supposed to be. Okay, so now we'll say dy dx is equal to uh, okay, so here we have uh, when you say x by x squared, we have got 3 x to the power 3 minus 6 x squared. x by that, we get that. Then minus 6x squared plus 12x, 12x, right? So here when you multiply by, that, uh, by 1, it will be that. So here we we'll say minus, okay, minus x to the power 3 plus 3x squared, okay? Then we divide everything by x 
minus 2 to the power what? 2. So dy dx is equal to is equal to uh, let's take a note of one curve here. We have 3x to the power 3 and this one. So it, these two can, can, can subtract, or we can subtract them, okay? Or they can cancel. Not necessarily cancel them, we can deal with this and this and produce a single term. Okay, so 3x to the power 3 minus x to the power 3 will have 2x to the power 3, alright? Then negative 6x squared and negative 6x squared will get negative 12xa squared, okay? I think there is even a term here. Let's take note. So we have negative 6x squared minus 6x squared. Well, there is also a term here with power 2. Alright, so. Okay, so this is plus 3xc squared. These are the right terms. Alright? So when you do this, you have negative 4x squared plus 3xc squared. So this will give us now negative. 9xc squared. So take note of that. So here we have negative negative 9xc squared. Alright. Uh, what have we left? Um, I think there's plus 4 here. So you just have to take your time. There's nothing that is complicated, but you can easily miss. Okay? So you say plus plus uh, 4x. Because this and this has been used, 1, 2, 3 have been used, so it's fine. So we divide everything now by what? By uh, x minus 2 to the power 2. Okay? And that is our answer. Uh, if there was a way of factorizing on top so that you're able to simplify it with what is the uh, down or the denominator of the done, but in this case, we can even leave it there. That is our answer. Okay, that is our answer. So you can see that the line that is difficult, you just need to take your time. And if you are not careful, you can easily uh, make mistakes later. Okay? So I'll give you an exercise. Okay, so you can copy these questions from one, uh, from five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now here there are two questions. You are going to get the first one just by differentiating. Then normal numeral 2, after differentiating, you get the value uh, by using x is equal to 1. Okay, use this. x is equal to 1. Okay? Those will really help you. I hope they are clear. I hope they are very clear. Okay, thank you so much.